Hey guys, welcome back to Nukem Guitar Jams. Today we're going to be doing How to Save a Life by the Fray. Uh, super great song, I love it. There's four chords in this song, G major, D major, E minor, and C major. Um, you'll notice I have a capo on the third fret. You can play it without the capo. Um, the capo just changes the key it's in and makes it easier uh, to play in that key without doing weird bar chords. Uh, I'll do a lesson on that later on, but let's hop into it. All right guys, so for this you want to imagine the first fret after the capo as the first fret of the guitar. So that being said, we're going to play a G major, which we've done before. Uh, take your middle finger, place it on this low E string, the first string down, uh, like that. Then you're going to put your index finger on the second fret of the A string, which is the second string down, like that. Then you're going to place your pinky or ring finger, whatever is more comfortable to you, on the third fret of the high E string, which is this last string. So all together, that's going to sound like, and that's a G major chord. All right, guys, for the D major chord, you're going to want to put your index finger on the second fret of the G string, which is the third from last string. Then you're going to want to put your index finger on the third string of the B string, which is the second from last string. Then you're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of the high E string, which is the last string. All together, you're going to strum these bottom four strings um, from the G down. And that's a D major. For the E minor chord, you're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, which is the second string. You're going to, want to put your ring finger on the second fret of the next string down, which is the D string. Um, and then you strum from where your middle finger is on the second fret of the A string, the second string down. And that's an E minor. <laughs> All right, last chord in the song is a C major. It is only used in the chorus. So any other part of the song, just the first three chords, but when he gets to the chorus, he uh, starts with the C major. So with your ring finger, you wanna place it on the third fret of the second string down, which is an A. You're gonna take your middle finger, place it on the second fret of the next string, which is the D. Then on the, you skip a string and on the B string, the second from last string, you want to put your index finger on the first fret. So all together, it sounds like that's a C major. You want to strum from your ring finger down. You don't want to hit the first string. All right, guys, now for the strumming pattern. It's the classic down, down, up, up, down, up. Um, and this song's pretty slow, so it's pretty easy to get that down. So let's go into the verse first, because uh, the chorus is a little bit different. So he starts on the G major. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Goes to the D major. Down, down, up, up, down, up. E minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then D again, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's the pattern for the whole verse, uh, pretty consistent. For the course of How to Save a Life, he starts on a C major. Um, he breaks the measure in half at one point. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so it starts on C major, same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. D major, down, down, up up down up e minor down down up up down up g major but he splits the measure in half here so it's just down down up d major up down up okay so again g major down down up up down up so when he does that on the first half of the course then he goes back to the regular strumming pattern 
Um, C major, down, down, up, up, down, up, D major, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then when he goes how to save a life, he does how to save a life. So that is G, D, G, single strum. So the, that's a cool song because the chorus really makes it sound different if you play it that way. You could play down, down, up the whole time with that split and not do the single strum on the second part of the chorus, but it really makes people feel like you know the song. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Like and subscribe below, and let me know what I can improve on. Thanks.